Hi guys, it's been a little while. I am tired and I am obviously looking sensational right now. I I want to put some makeup on, I want to feel better and play with some new bits that are in my collection that have been sitting around actually for quite a while and they need some love so if that's something you're interested in keep on watching, please subscribe, like the video and let's get into it and sort myself out because yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking a bit crazy right now. I'm hoping I'm going to look better at the end of this. I'm just going to prime with my Natasha Denona primer and <laughs> get a kitten, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Um, and it is. It's lovely. I do have a new kitten. He's a lovely little boy. He is a ragdoll kitten. He's a seal point and he's now 14 weeks old. Got him a week ago today, I'm filming this on Tuesday, and he has kept us busy, to say the least. Um, I will pop a picture on screen of him if you haven't seen him. I did put a picture of him on my community tab if you wanted to go check that out. But yeah, I'm planning to do some vlogs for my patrons and my members on my channel so they can see Zuko and his little journey from when he first arrived to me and his first little few weeks in our house. Um, he's such a good boy, he's downstairs sleeping at the minute. So I felt like I could leave him <laughs> to come and film a video, but honestly, I've just been so tired and had so much to sort and so much on my mind that I've looked like this for a week. I haven't even got any tan on, like it's all scrubbed off and I just, I feel rough. So I am ready to stick a load of makeup on my face and just have fun. Now I do have the W7 foundation to try. Now this is new to me, it's not new out. It's the HD foundation and it is in, what is this in? Do I know? Do we know? I do not know what shade I bought this in. I have absolutely no idea. I'm sure it probably says somewhere on here, but I can find out what it is. I will link it down below, the specific shade, but I currently do not know. I am just gonna stick my foundation on first rather than doing my eyes first today. Right, let's pump this out and hope that this is a good foundation for me. I do have dry-ish skin, um, but I do usually like a soft matte. What does it actually say this is? It doesn't really give me a lot of information. It just says 12 hours. And I don't know if I've got the right shade, but we're gonna see. To be fair, I thought this was gonna be a lot worse. Actually, now I remember, I did order a shade that was way too light for me and then I ordered again. And this is my second attempt. I didn't even try the first bottle that I ordered just because I could tell by looking at the bottle. There was no way. But wow, look at this. That's, I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but that is not a bad shade match compared to how I can usually pick a foundation. Let me tell you, let me just squirt a little bit more out. And oh, already starting to feel a bit more me again. Not because I feel like I need to wear makeup because I seriously don't. I'm very happy to leave the house and look like a foot without any makeup on. But because I've been just going around feeling and looking a bit like a tramp for a week, this is really nice. I'm feeling super nice already. I can't believe how good that color match is. Like not so much to my neck. <sighs> look, it's never gonna be perfect when I'm picking a foundation. And that is just one of the many things in life that I'm just gonna have to live with. But that seems to be going on really nice. Have you tried this foundation? Have you got this foundation? This was super cheap. I did buy it from the W7 website and I'm sure it was around five pounds. Like I say, I will link it in the description box, but I don't know if it's gonna oxidize or how it's gonna be. Um, but yeah, it's been sitting in my drawer. I wanted to test it for quite a while because I do like an affordable foundation. Obviously my absolute favourite is my NARS Soft Matte and that is what I love to wear, it's very cake face. But this is actually going on really nicely. Hmm, be interesting to see how this holds up. I'm not gonna be doing a wear test, I am far too tired <laughs> to do a wear test, but I will update you in upcoming videos if I remember. And if you see me using it again, what have I got in my hair, seriously? Oh, Kerry, Kerry. Yeah, I'm not mad with how that foundation has gone on at all. I mean, it's not the worst colour match in history. 
so that is good um I don't think I've got a new concealer to try, so I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution concealer. This is just my favourite for the under eye. It's the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in Affair. And I really like it. I think I'm actually getting through quite a bit of it, to be honest. But nice affordable found foundation. Did I mention I'm tired? Nice affordable concealer that doesn't make my under eyes look like men's nether regions, which is, you know... I don't know if that's the goal for anybody really, but <sighs> this is this is good. A little bit of pamper and a little bit of makeup time. Let me know, do you have any questions for me about me getting my kids in? Like I say, if you want full in-depth vlogs and things like that, I do have my membership and my Patreon link down below and they will be getting all of the kitten vlogs. But hopefully you'll see him in some videos, even if you're not a member or a patron. And I'll tell you about him a bit more. But right now he's sleeping downstairs. And I haven't actually introduced him to upstairs yet to bring him in my beauty room. Um, because it's only been a week he's here. He's only sort of slowly getting used to downstairs before I do anything else. To be honest, I need to cat proof everything up here. I don't know if I'm going to need to powder this. It's not feeling super sticky or anything. It does feel like a matte. That is good. Maybe I did buy a matte. I mean, it is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit tacky like a foundation would be, but that is sitting so nicely on my skin. I don't know if it's going to settle into any lines, which I'll have to see. Okay, and also, which is new to me, is the Simpsons and Makeup Revolution Treehouse of Horror face palette. This was on offer on the Makeup Revolution website. I'd wanted it for quite a while, actually, and all this stuff is reduced heavily. So check that out if you're wanting to see. But it's got perfect shades for my skin tone, I think. It's got a nice pink blush. A nice pinky highlight and a nice bronzery shade so we're gonna give this a go I've even cleaned all my brushes I actually cleaned all my brushes quite a while ago so I'm gonna go into evil twin which is the bronzer shade and hope this is nice for me obviously this isn't gonna suit everybody's skin tone but I picked it up because I feel like it will suit mine I'm hoping it will I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this bronzer to be honest is it blending nicely? Is it the foundation underneath? I have no idea. So I'm just going to go into the blush, which is called Brains, and see what this is like. This is probably not going to be matching whatever eye look I'm going to do. Do I care, though? No, I just kind of wanted to test out the new makeup I had lying around that I've been desperate to play with. That's good. It's not the most pigmented of blushes. It's building up nicely though. That's a nice light pink blush. I don't usually prefer a pink blush. I usually prefer an orange blush. But I did think this palette was super cute. Look, I'm a sucker for anything to do with the Simpsons. Okay. I'm just going to spray my face with my Simpsons and Revolution setting spray. This was the summer of love fixing spray. Smells like jasmine apparently. Not the best mister. Not the worst mister. Then of course we're going to be using the highlight from this palette which is called Cursed and it has got a bit of a pink shimmer to this highlight and usually I do really like Makeup Revolution highlighters, they know what they're doing with highlighters. So let's pop this on and see what we think of this. Ooh, yes, that is a nice light pink shimmery highlight. I like that little palette. It's nice. It's not the best quality in the entire world, but it's nice. I would definitely take it if I was going anywhere traveling because it's got all three in a one -er. Nice. Then I am going to play with my new Star Wars and Colourpop palette. I don't actually know if this is going to be restocked. It disappeared off the website, so I ended up buying the whole collection on Depop for an amazing price. Brand new, untouched, amazing please don't pay over the odds it price gouging really irritates me um but i did find a nice seller that had all this stuff brand new was actually cheaper for me to buy it from depop than it would have been if it had been in stock on the colourpop website so like i said i've got the whole collection i'm going to be using the eyeshadow palette today i have recently got into star wars should have worn my star wars top today i have a star wars top that i love and it's got this on it um, I really like the first three films that were released from Star Wars. I've been watching them all uh, because I always thought I hated Star Wars. But in fact, after watching them, I don't hate them. 
um, but the first three are definitely my favourite sort of classic Star Wars. Loved the look of this palette, especially these two funky marble shades here. This one that's called Hyperdrive looks a bit weird as well. Loving the look of this palette so much. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if Colourpop are going to be bringing it back. I really hope they do. I think it'd be silly not to because I think it sold out fairly quickly and they haven't brought it back yet, but love the packaging, love the colour story. I think it really sums up the series and the films really, really well. What look are we going to do with it though? I'm just going to prime my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. First, I'm not going to do something super intricate and crazy today. Like I say, just because I'm a little bit tired. Um, I've been trying to get up early to be with Zuko. And his name is actually from, I should have used the Avatar palette from Colourpop. Um, his name is actually from Avatar The Last Airbender. There's a Prince Zuko on there that's in the Fire Nation and that is where we got his name from. So <laughs> he's a cute little fiery cat. He definitely is when he's got his zoomies on a night time, let me tell you now. Um, I might insert a bit of footage at the end of this video just so that you can see a little bit of him if you want to. It's like I've forgotten how to do makeup. Like I'm looking for a brush and I'm like, I don't even know what brush I need. Like I've had a week off and pfft, I don't know what's happening. Well, what sort of colour should we go for? What are we thinking? Blue, red, a combination of both. Neutral. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to start out with Rebellion, which is the deep blue here. Um, I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner. Like I say, it's not going to be a super, super intricate look or anything like that. I just want to play with some makeup. And test this new palette because... I'm hoping it's amazing quality because I do really like Colourpop as a whole. All the things that I've tried I really like from them. One of my favourite palettes from them is the In The Limelight palette and the Avatar palette. I'm going to go into a little bit of Star Destroyer which is the black. I don't know why I'm showing you the black but there it is. And I'm just going to deepen up. Wow, a lot of powder came off there. Just in the very outer corner just to get maximum depth out there then i'm going to take a little bit more of rebellion which was the deep blue and just wiggle around the edges with a fluffier brush just to diffuse the blue a little bit like who am i and what's happened i've started to like star wars and i have a kitten like what's going on Considering we don't have a lighter blue matte in this palette, that blue is blending out very nicely with itself. I'm not having any issues. Okay, I'll carry on with that in a little while and sort out that blend, but I think next I want to go into Alliance, which is this brown here. Um, just tuck that in toward the inner corner. I feel like this palette will make a lot of people happy, like colour lovers and neutral lovers because you can do so many different looks with this because it's got the blues, the reds, and so many neutrals and a black. And then you've got a variety in the shimmers as well, which is definitely why I wanted to pick it up. But I don't really like buying collab palettes that I don't like the collaboration that they're doing it with. So, hence me watching Star Wars and like, do I actually like it? Because I, I don't know. I remember going to see The Phantom Menace when I was younger with my dad at the cinema when it released and I wasn't a fan. Um, he has always loved Star Wars so, so much. Um, me, not so much. Um, but actually now watching the films and actually understanding the story, it's a lot more interesting to me than it was then. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush and go into Starfighter, which is the lightest of the browns here. And just tickle around the edges of the previous brownie shade. And then I am going to take those browns onto the lower lash line as well. Now I did tell you that my blush and highlight was not going to match with this look today. Now you can see I was serious. Okay, it's time for shimmers and I'm not going to cut my crease or anything. I'm just going to do a nice relaxed cut crease and I feel like... I want to start with Kessel Run, which is the gorgeous shimmery silver here. And I'm just going to spray my brush in the hope I won't get fallout. I just use my Primark Primer Water. 
and let's pop wow oh that's reflective and stunning that is that is one of the best silvers that i've got in my collection um i do have some special indie brand silvers but color pop color pop man then of course i am going to be going into jedi knight how could i not go into jedi knight i mean look at it i'm hoping this is going to be as impressive as the silver i'm just going to flip my brush over we'll go into this one and i will spray this and just continue where the silver is and meet up with that deeper matte that is a stunning blue that is such a nice blue it's not as reflective as the silver but it is still very very nice and then for the inner corner i'm thinking i want to go into rebel princess which is this one here and i'm thinking this is going to be more of a toppery shade do you know i haven't even gone into the special marble shades have i i was just drawn to the other shades maybe we could put one on the lower lash line maybe that would be cute yeah, this has got a bit of pink reflect in Rebel Princess, which I appreciate, but that is nice. It's not as blinding as the silver. I mean, nothing is going to look as blinding next to that silver. Okay, and then I am going to take Space Pirate, which is this gorgeous blue marbly shimmer here, and kind of just stick my brush in, see what shade it's going to come out with. I will spray this one as well, just so it's easier to paint somewhat on the lower lash line. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like it. You can see all of the different shimmers in it. I can see red and blue. That is nice. I have two of the Jelly Mutt shadows as well that I could have gone in with, to be fair, but I didn't. That could be for another video. If you want to see some more Star Wars, let me know. I do have two of the liners. Um, I have the Laser Saber and kyber crystal and i don't know which one i want to go in with maybe we'll go in with a bit of a liner and do sort of a wing type of thing but maybe we'll go in with kyber crystal and i'm not going to do this on camera because it's stressful that was super easy to use to be fair i must say i really love the packaging of this i think it's adorable um yeah that was really easy to put on don't look at my blending just please it's been a while, it's been a while. In my waterline, I am just gonna go in with the Beauty Bay eyeshadow stick, and this is in the shade Dumbo Sky. Really love these for the waterline. Can't recommend them enough. Keep telling you about them. Please buy them. I don't work for Beauty Bay, but these are so, so good. Um, obviously, I really wanted a blue for the waterline, so this is a nice sort of baby blue. Ooh, I like. Okay guys, I have stuck on some mascara, it's just the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is actually running out, which is a bit sad. And then my new favourite lashes that I have, that are still drying, just don't mind me, I do like to clamp them together with my own lashes. Once they've been on and drying for a little while, then it just looks a little bit more seamless. I'm obsessed with these lashes. Like, I have to say, I am an affiliate with Pound Lashes, but that makes me over the moon because I absolutely love their lashes. They are so affordable. Like, there are so many pairs of lashes for a pound. Like, these are the style print. This is what the box looks like. Pound Lashes are amazing. So, so affordable and dramatic. I mean, they do have some that aren't as dramatic, but I do love a dramatic lash. They have a lash book that I've got my eye on, which is literally like a book. You open it and it's got a load of lashes. I mean, please do check out my affiliate link and code. It will be in the description box down below if you do shop through that. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really all does help. But I'm obsessed with these lashes. I haven't applied them the best today. It's been a while. I wasn't the best at applying lashes anyway. So when I've not done it for a while, I think that's the best we're going to get. But I have just gone around my lips with the lip liner from MUA in the shade TLC because I want to use one of the Star Wars lipsticks. I have got all three, but I want to go in with the nude because I just think it'll tie in nicely with the eyes. And it's called Dark Lord. And oh, just look at the 
imprints on this it's just absolutely stunning and it looks like a nice nude shade i haven't really tried a color pop lipstick before so let's give it a go oh that is going on so smoothly that is not dragging at all that feels creamy matched with that lip liner so so well really sad that i'm going to be destroying the beautifulness of the product but you have to use your makeup i really like that as a nude it does feel like it's going to be a satin lipstick though i can't actually remember if they are i do believe that they are so it is going to transfer so the darker shades that i've got i'm going to have to be very very careful with if i'm going to be using those because usually if i have a darker lipstick i would like it to be matte so it's not traveling all over my face but i really really like this nude it went on beautifully it feels nice on the lips let me sort myself out let me let me i mean okay guys the hair was not going to plan today i i can't rescue it it, it needs styling in some like, shape or form and i've just not got the energy for that today so we're just gonna have to put it with it looking like this um i really like how this look came out to be honest i think the blues are absolutely gorgeous like i said i don't normally go for a full-on blue look but i'm obsessed with this this palette is so so good i really hope Colourpop bring this back um if you're a Star Wars fan as well, I just don't see why you wouldn't want to pick this up. Um, I really do like Colourpop's formula. I think the majority of the palettes that I've got from them are bang on. The price is amazing. Not so much getting it from the UK because then you have to pay for shipping and taxes and all of that. But I am absolutely obsessed with these shades. This palette, that silver is incredible. Really like the blue. This is special. I want to put this all over the lid and maybe this one as well at some point. And I didn't even try Hyperdrive, which looks, oh, it looks so flipping nice. But yeah, I feel a bit more like me. Now I have some vibrant eyeshadow on. I did like this palette, nice little affordable option. So glad I didn't get it full price though, because it's not the best in the world, but it is cute if you like The Simpsons. Um, yeah, I think Makeup Revolution still do have a few of these left on their site, heavily reduced. So check out the Treehouse of Horror collection if that's something you was interested in. And the foundation. Hmm. I don't really know, because putting it on, it looked like it matched me. And now I feel like, has it oxidised? Has it? Did you notice it? I just feel like it's a bit of an odd colour. I can't really put my finger on it. Maybe I'd feel a bit better with it if I still had tan on my neck. Maybe that's what's throwing me off because I'm so used to wearing tan back to back week after week and I'm not at the moment. So maybe that's what's throwing me off a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. Just something feels a little bit off about the foundation. But the actual formula of it, it hasn't sunk into my forehead lines. Thank you very much. It has a little bit into the lines around my mouth, but a lot of foundations do do that. It's just one of those things about getting older and having facial expressions. But yeah, I'm really not mad at this foundation. I think it went on really nicely. Like I say, not sure about the colour 100% and it has sunk into my smile lines just a tad. But I'm pretty pleased with everything that I played with today that was new and I really like this look and it's nice to have big dramatic lashes on when I haven't worn makeup for a week. So please guys, let me know what you think to all of these products, what you think to this look. Is there anything you're interested in picking up? Do you like Star Wars? I will insert a little clip of Zuko, my little baby kitten, if you're interested at the end of this video. So please stick around for that if that's something you want. And don't forget if you want to see the vlogs on him or the previous vlogs I've done on my channel, please do check the description box for the Patreon and membership details. So I'll shut up so you can see the cute kitten and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!